to understand what those hard and soft links are, we need a brief introduction to the file system structure of Unix-like systems. We have many different file systems on Unix world, but the basic idea uh, of all of them um, has rem um, uh, remained and changed uh, from the very beginning since the days of PDP-7. Typically, uh, we can have a boot block um, at the beginning of device or file system partition, then we have a um, uh, so-called super block um, with the file system metadata and uh, then uh, uh, data space with the data blocks uh, that make up the files. The super block is a very high level metadata structure for the file system and um, is very important for the file system. Uh, and if the super block of the partition is, is damaged, the corresponding file system uh, cannot be mounted by the operating system. Therefore, it is uh, saved in multiple apply uh, backups for um, each file system uh, on this drive. Uh, the super block includes some uh, general information about the file system and some tables, such uh, as a list of uh, free data blocks possibly a list of bad blocks, uh, and finally, a, a list of inodes. Each inode uh, or index node uh, describes uh, a separate file. Uh, it includes uh, metadata uh, related to the file such as uh, ownership, access mode, read write, execute, and file type and size. But uh, inode also includes a list of physical blocks holding the file content. The size of uh, the blocks supporting a single inode are fixed and uh, when combined with um, the data block size determines uh, uh, the maximum file size on that file system. When, when you create some file systems, you can change the uh, size of the inode list and the size of the data block and use those options to configure the file system to handle less larger files or more smaller files. And um, about directories, actually uh, it's just a, a special kind of file. Uh, that contains or, or a sequence uh, of names and their associated inodes. 
we, we can have uh, multiple, uh, multiple directory entries associated with one I node. And this is called a, a hard link. We, we can see this with a less command with I, I node option. As we can see, the A and C file related to the same I node. As we uh, remember, changing any of the related files changes uh, the other file synchronously. But this is interesting, the mode change also occurs synchronously for uh, both files. Just because the uh, file's uh, metadata is located in the single I node. Uh, also, the I node has a file link counter. Uh, uh, in the Unix API, we actually don't have something like the delete system call, just unlink. And when we call the RM command, we, we just do an unlink and decrement the link count only when the link count reaches uh, zero uh, are the data blocks associated uh, with the file moved to the free blocks list. As we can see, a uh, link counter now is one. It uh, looks good, but uh, unfortunately we, we cannot establish um, how links between different file systems because it would be too difficult to synchronize the metadata. Um, uh, of those file systems. And for that, a uh, soft or symbolic link was designed for, uh, for two uh, BSD. Uh, how does a soft link uh, look inside? Let's look. Uh, as we can see, this is uh, just a special file, um, a special type of file that we can see uh, the length one instead eight uh, of the source file. And this is, means um, only one thing, a string with the path uh, to be linked file is simply simply placed uh, in this special file. Uh, as a consequence, we, we have no restriction on linking between file systems, but if um, we delete the original file, we will lose um, uh, access to it via this soft link. <laughs> 